This week's chef on a shoestring is a big believer in fresh and sustainable cooking. So it's no surprise he's just come out with a new book, Michael's Genuine Food, Down-to-Earth Cooking for People Who Love to Eat. Michael Schwartz is also the chef and owner of Michael's Genuine Food and Drink in Miami and Grand Cayman. And as our chef on a shoestring, he'll prepare a fresh three-course meal for four, all on a shoestring budget of just $40. Great to have you with us, chef. Thank you. Very nice to be here. Really looking forward to this meal we're about to have. Tell us what's on the menu. Great menu. We got a roasted double yolk farm egg, mm. a little Asiago cheese and a little crostini. We have a whole roasted chicken with arugula, pine nuts, and raisins. There's a Swiss chard and caramelized onion panade, fancy word yes. for kind of savory bread pudding. Savory bread pudding, got and it. And cremoso for dessert. So I think we should Let's take get it off. down to business. Right. So Pick it double off with yolks. The egg. Sometimes we get these great big uh, eggs that mm -hmm. have two yolks. Ah, yeah. And so unpredictable, but when we want to make this dish, and I always think that two yolks are better than one, <laughs> so these are just some uh, souffle cups or ramekins that we'll put a little bit of roasted tomato in. And then, you know, for this purpose, we'll just do uh, one whole egg and then also one yolk. Okay. So there's the two yolks. And that uh, tomato sauce, is that straight from a can or something that you make on the side? Whichever you prefer. Got it. Some, it's very simple and it's just a little bit of it. We're going to hit it with a little touch of cream, mm -hmm. some chives, a little salt and pepper, if you don't mind hitting the Got pepper it. mill right there. I love the pepper. And then we top it off with a little bit of, uh, for this purpose, Asiago cheese. You could use Gruyere, mm -hmm. uh, you know, whatever cheese that you like, and a good amount of it. Something that's uh, got a little kick to it, a little bite yeah, to I it? Yeah, a little, little bite, a little saltiness is good. Asiago is good and readily available. Cave-age Gruyere a lot, a lot of times we use. So at this point, you would pop that in a super hot oven okay. for about 8 to 10 minutes, along with some crostini that are just drizzled with olive oil, a little bit of salt for and dipping. pepper. For dipping. Exactly. <laughs> and then so they come out. This looks great. The white should be set. The yolk should still be a little bit of runny. Serve it with the crostini and a little bit. I always like to have some uh, kind of greens frise. This mm -hmm. is watercress or some little thing to kind of offset the, the textures and temperatures. Well, it looks great. I'm going to try some while we get over to the main course. Okay, so roasted chicken, I think, is something that everybody loves. And, 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 and it's super easy to make. Again, a super hot oven. And you want to really buy a great chicken. Mm. And so the chicken's washed and patted dry. We're going to tuck the wings under. And we're going to liberally season it inside the cavity and all around with salt okay. and pepper. What is, I mean, how much salt do you put on this thing? Because it's always hard. That's the hardest part for me to know the salt amount. Yeah, you know, I mean, and it depends too. But this is a big chicken. So if it looks like I'm, you know, it's a lot of salt, it's really not if you think about, you know, it's a three and a half pound bird. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing is just putting a little bit of fresh thyme in between the skin mm. and the meat. And then what we're going to do is, in a, in a hot skillet, we're going to put this in. And the skillet, you see, is kind of small. I see. And the reason for that is that we could kind of bypass that whole method of trussing the chicken. Which just, is? Well, which would be tying it up. Okay, I see. Right. So, so you don't have to go through all of that with the string and everything like this that. This kind of contains it, you see, in this nice little arena. Mm -hmm. So what we want to do, we want to put that in a hot oven. Okay. And you're going to cook it halfway this way. Then you're going to flip it over. I see. So. Let me get that. So how long are you cooking this for? It'll take about 50, 55 minutes. I see. And you can see that we have one here. It's beautiful. It smells delicious in the studio. Yeah. It's really, it's, it's the best way that I found to cook a chicken. Mm -hmm. And always super crispy, the breast doesn't burn. So you just want to carefully pull this out. We're going to set it down on the plate. And then, see all these juices are really good. And okay. there's a lot of juices there. I have a little bit of wine that I might put in there, kind of stir it around. So we want to just oh, put pour the wine. right on top. Yeah, these juices right on top. When you cook the chicken, when you flip it, Halfway through the cooking, mm -hmm. there'll be a lot of juice in the pan that you want to discard. Discard then, the juice, the first go-round. The round. first go-round. Keep it the second go-round. Correct. So I'm just going to wash my hands up here. Uh, and then, very simply, we have rosemary and olive oil soaked raisins that go right on here. And then a little bit on the greens, again, undressed. To carry the flavors between the two sure. items. And then pine nuts. Looks delicious. Yeah, and that's our roasted chicken. What would you say, you know, it's got pine nuts, it has raisins. 
Is there a, a location that this recipe comes from? Well, this is very rustic, and I guess anytime you think about arugula and pine nuts and something rustic like this, I would think of Italy. Italy. Yeah. Got it. So, so a trip to Italy. Yeah, for your and mouth. we could. I could maybe carve you a piece of this chicken. Oh, sure. If you like. Go ahead and do that, and then I want to make sure that we get to the. Is it the cremoso? The is cremoso. that what it's called? And yep. what is cremoso? Well, you know, cremoso is a made-up word. Uh huh. <laughs> by you or by somebody That's else? That's right. Well, you know, really? I stole it from somebody. Okay. But, you know. I'm gonna set this over here and take a little bite while you're getting Fantastic. to that cremoso. I'm going to talk about the cremoso, if you can imagine, an ice cream base. So uh -huh. it's like a, it's an anglaise and it poured <laughs> over chocolate. And so if you can imagine a real super thick uh, ice cream base. Mm -hmm. And that's what this is. So it's super easy to make. You make a little bit of cream, you thicken it with egg, you pour it over milk chocolate, and this is what you have. Okay. And then if you just scoop it out. Oh, wow. That's an I would never expect that consistency. Right. And then we just, there's a little bed of um, toasted hazelnuts, mm -hmm. which we love. And then there's a little parfait that we made with um, kind of espresso little Just a little bread. something. Just something that we threw together. And then the interesting idea here is we drizzle this with a little bit of olive oil. Olive oil. Yeah, and a little bit of uh, good quality sea salt. Is that what brings out the chocolate flavor? Well, you know, I, 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 I there's this. Have a taste. <laughs> <laughs> olive oil, Smell chocolate, sea salt. Ready? Yeah, Ooh, and we, we, we usually serve second. that with a little a bit of toasted bread. No, not We're going to see how you did on pricing right okay. here because it's all about how low you can go. So let's take a look. How low did he go? All right, Chef, Thirty-nine, thirty-six is how low you went. Probably not exactly on the leaderboard, but uh, you know what? Oh, you are, number three. Look at nice that. work, oh, there you go. Ah. Also next week, it's all about seafood. Here are your choices for next That's week. Good, for right? seared cod, Let's you're gonna this. call star star Ooh. zero one for lobster risotto. Call star star zero two. You don't have to text, you just have to dial. And for shrimp pasta, you're gonna call star star zero three. Good. Standard data and message rates apply. Chef. You made it on the leaderboard, number yes. three, and you taste delicious. This chicken is fantastic. Yeah. It is. It looks so easy, too. Yeah, and you can find easy. more of the recipes at wow. cbs.com slash Saturday. Thanks, Chef. Thank you.